Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Mariah. I'm new to making videos, so you probably don't know me. Hi, nice to meet you. Anyway, today I'm going to talk about my favorite baby names. Um, no, I'm not pregnant. This is something, like it's a topic that I have loved talking about and thinking about and daydreaming about ever since I was a teenager which I feel like is a pretty common thing for girls to do. I basically keep a running list of baby names in my phone like all the time. Whenever I hear a really cool name that I love, I write it down so that way I won't forget it. I'll do five boy names and five girl names that I love. The first name on this list I have loved since I was 18 years old. When I was 18, I worked at PetSmart. I was a pet care specialist and a customer came in with their toddler son. They said his name and I loved it. I was like, if I ever have a boy, this will be his name. And that name is Finn. What I did not anticipate at the age of 18, just how popular this name would be a decade later. I have like two friends who have named their sons Finn in the last two years, and I know a whole bunch of other Finns as well. So, Finn. The next name on my list is also one of my brother's names. I've basically loved it like ever since we were kids growing up. I always just always thought his name was super cool. Good job, mom. And that name is Asher. Asher is a Jewish name meaning happy and blessed. It's just a really like gentle, mellow, soft sounding name. And that's kind of like my naming style, I guess. Asher is also becoming a little bit more popular lately. I'm seeing it like on a ton of baby name lists. And I would still use it. I would totally name my kid after my brother. I don't have any problems with that. So for me, it would still be on the table. I think it's a pretty cool name. The next name on the list doesn't really have any like significance to me or any special meaning. It's just a name, kind of like a guilty pleasure name, I guess. Um, you know, I see it like pop up on name forums or YouTube a lot. I don't know anybody specifically with this actual name. Um, and that is Gray. Not Grayson, just Gray. I like the name Gray. It's uh, again really soft, really sweet and simple. It's, you know, unique without being too weird or unusual. It's definitely usable. Even if it was just a middle name. The next name on my list is my son's name, but I'm throwing it into this list because I just love it so much. This name is also my husband's dad's middle name, so my son was named after his grandpa. So it's got like special family significance as well as me just really loving it. And that is Milo. The German origin of Milo means merciful and calm. I love that meaning. It's really sweet and special. With his middle name, which his middle name is after his other grandpa. So he's named after two grandparents on both sides of the family. And uh, so altogether his name means merciful, calm, old friend. I just think that's really sweet. The last baby boy name on my list has been one of my top favorite boys names probably since I was like 12. Pretty sure I named some of my baby dolls this name. I think it means like bright or light or something like that. But anyway, that name is Luca. If I had not named my son Milo, Luca was like the runner up. Um, I think that like in the past year or so I've kind of outgrown it a little bit just because I've found other names that I like more but it's still in the running I still love Luca I think I'll always love Luca it's just really pretty and it is Italian and my husband is part Italian so you know it has some significance okay now on to the girls names first name that I put on the list is my daughter's name. It's number one just because it's definitely like my top most favorite girl's name ever. I'm not sure I will ever love another girl's name as much as I love this name. So far, you know, I may find another name I love, but this name is just, it's the best girl's name in my opinion. That name is Ren. 
Ren means ruler, which I think is a really awesome name meaning for a girl. It's really powerful, it's strong. The name is feminine and unique without being too strange or out there. It's definitely easy to pronounce. Um, you know, it's not unheard of is what I'm trying to say. It's like different and unique without being unheard of. Yeah, I will always be in love with her name, Ren. The next baby girl name on my list has been a favorite of mine for a long time. Again, it's actually an Irish name. It can be pronounced Neve or Niev. The Irish origin, the way that it's spelled, uh, probably not many people in the US are familiar with it and would pronounce it correctly. So I would probably have to like Americanize it to N-E-V-E, -E, which kind of takes away from it in my opinion. I love the Irish spelling. So if I wouldn't do the Irish spelling, then I probably just wouldn't do the name at all. But I love the name. It's so pretty. Neve. I tend to like just like short unique names or short sweet sounding names the next name on the list definitely fits that although this next name i will say is not unique at all it's uh, more classic more traditional more common back when i was 15 years old i babysat for a little girl who had this name and she was the sweetest little girl she was so cute and adorable and her name just fit really well with that and made me love it even more and that name is Lily. I just think any little girl with the name Lily is so precious and so cute. Like I said though, it's not like different, it's not uncommon. It's kind of my girl guilty pleasure name I guess. The next name on my list I probably wouldn't use just because it is like really trendy right now and like in the top 10 or something and I do want to stay away from like super popular names, uh, but I love this name and that's Ava. I love that it's short, sweet, simple, easy to pronounce, easy to spell. Ava is a variation of Eve. It could also be from the Latin word for bird and it's a Hebrew form of Eve. Like I said, it's but literally the only reason why I probably wouldn't use it is just because of how trendy it is right now. It's kind of my girl guilty pleasure name, I guess. Now, the last name on the girls list was actually the first name that I um, considered or spoke out loud to my husband as a possibility. I found it like in a baby book. I think it was the day that we found out that she was a girl. This baby name is Cora and it actually rhymes with my husband's last name so when we said the full name out loud oh, it's not that's not gonna work <laughs> if it weren't for rhyming with my husband's last name we probably would have considered it anyway that's it for the names that i have on this list if you are like me and you're obsessed with baby names Please comment down below and tell me what your favorite baby names are. That's all for this video. If you want to stick around and see more videos and hang out and be friends, that would be awesome. I would love that. All I ask is that you hit the, the button right down there. Do you see it? It says subscribe. So if you just hit that button, we'll be friends. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.